guys welcome back so today I'm going to be talking all about skincare I'm right in front of you guys with literally no makeup on whatsoever and I thought it would be best to do it this way because then you can see how my skin is like and yeah so this is the me au natural I do apologize if the lighting does change throughout this video I am using my big living room window as my lighting today um, and it looks okay but it will kind of change throughout the video so I hope you guys don't mind and I thought it would be best to use more natural lighting for this video as well so again you guys can see my skin and yeah so just to let you guys know if you are new to my channel I do have a dry to very dry skin at times especially during winter it gets really flaky and super dry and I, I do get dehydrated skin because I do not drink enough water and um, that's one of my biggest issues that I kind of need to work on but I have the biggest sweet tooth ever so it's really hard for me not to have like sugar every now and then but anyways most of these products are from one brand actually and I do have a few other products from other brands but I do want to say they are more high-end products. I did want to kind of invest in my skincare and just improve it all, all around because I don't know. I just feel like I'm I'm really I'm really into skincare and I just want my skin to look its best and yeah. So I think it's important to invest in your skincare and then your makeup will go good because your skin looks better. I will show you what I've been using and how I've been using it and tell you what I like the benefits of each products are so that you guys know why I like it and we'll just jump straight into this video I'm first going to talk about cleanser and what I've been using to cleanse my skin and I've been using the Bobbi Brown soothing cleansing oil just to show you guys that I've been loving this I have a literally one empty bottle here that I finished and I'm halfway through this one more than halfway actually and I actually need to get some more but I just love this cleanser the reason why is because my skin feels washed and clean but doesn't feel tight when I'm finished washing it. So basically what I do with this is I do like five pumps into my hand and with a full face of makeup I just massage it into my skin over my eyes and everything like I just slather it all over my face and really massage it into my skin and make sure that it melts my makeup and you can also use it on your eyes which I find super easy. And then once I feel like everything's kind of melted, I take a bit of water in my hands and then I massage that into my skin. And what it does, it makes the oil and milk and that's what kind of cleanses your skin. And again, I just rub that into my skin for a good like minute or so. And then I just literally rinse everything off. And you want to make sure that you're rinsing it really good because it is an oil. It does turn into milk afterwards, but you want to make sure there's no excess on your skin. So... I make sure that I really really wash that product off my skin, tap it dry and your skin literally feels super soft and smooth. As I was saying, I just wash it off and once you've like literally washed it off, your skin feels very like soft and very uh, clean. It feels clean but it doesn't feel tight. That was one of my biggest issues like when I was washing my face and it, my skin would just feel like really really tight afterwards and I would have to like slap on moisturizer right after because I just felt so uncomfortable but with this one I don't feel uncomfortable whatsoever so this literally has a bunch of oils it's got kukui nut sunflower oils and jasmine flower um, so it's just like full of nice ingredients and I just love the quality of it. It is recommended for all skin types so anyone can literally use this even if you have oily skin. Um, but if you're like excessively oily I might not really recommend this one. But it's just been quick and easy for me and I just I just really love it and I will be buying more of this. It's like my, my go to cleanser. You guys don't know how many times people come up to me when I'm working at a makeup counter and they come up to me and they say, oh, what lip line are you wearing around your lips? Because sometimes I just wear like a glossy thing or I would just wear lip balm because sometimes my lips feel dry and I don't really feel like wearing a lipstick on that day. But so many people just come up to me and like, what lip line are you wearing? And I'm just like, they're just my lips. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys get this like, Thing here, you guys know what I mean. Anyways, the next product that I'm going to be talking about is the Bobbi Brown Buffing Grains. This is my exfoliator, and this is made by Azuki Bean. If you look at the powder, 
they're literally like little round granules and literally it doesn't have the most pleasant smell but it literally smells like sand it smells like some type of nut or sand and you just mix it with water it kind of foams up actually and then I just kind of exfoliate my skin with this I do like to mix it in with my soothing cleansing oil like these two together and um, use that together first and it just exfoliates my skin and it just feels so good and my skin feels so soft like I'm not kidding you guys my skin feels it's best at the moment so yeah this is like my go-to cleanser because literally after I use this my skin feels so soft it feels super nice and clean I don't know it's just a really good product to use um, this is £32 you get a lot in here um, I've been using it quite a bit now and I'm still right at the top so <laughs> this is like another investment kind of product if you guys want a good exfoliator this is the one to have by the way I would like to mention that this video is not sponsored by Bobbi Brown because it might look like it but it really isn't I just have a slight obsession with Bobbi Brown so um, as I was saying, definitely recommend this for any skin type really, um, it just is, it's just a good exfoliator and you can mix it with water, you can mix it with your cleanser and it's just super easy to use, um, but yeah. Oh and I do use this two to three times a week. Next product is not Bobbi Brown and this is the mask I've been using and it's the Origins Drink Up Intensive Mask. Oh, my favourite mask ever, like if you have dry skin. This will be your best friend, I swear to you, if you have dry skin, try this. So what I do with this is I just put a little bit, it comes out like, it looks like a moisturiser basically, and I just put this and rub it into my skin like as if it was a moisturiser. You don't put like a thick layer like a mask, basically this is like an overnight mask, so at night time I would put this as a moisturiser on its own, and you don't need to see excess product, you just like put it onto your skin like a moisturiser until it kind of goes and it's like you're slapping on full on moisture onto your skin and when you wake up in the morning and you wash it all off your skin feels so hydrated it's just super amazing and Origins are mostly natural so it's nice to put on something that's got a lot of natural products in there onto your skin and it just makes your skin feel really really nice and hydrated so I'm all about this and I love this and I would recommend it to anyone with dry skin. The next product I'm going to talk about is my toner and this is the Bobbi Brown Treatment Lotion. Now I use this two to three times a week. I don't use tonic, well toner, toner, tonic, however you want to call it. I don't use this every day. I just use this um, two to three times a week and what this does is it really helps to keep hydration into your skin and what I do with this I just put it on a bit of cotton kind of go like this as a normal toner this one is different because it literally feels like gloop it's not like a liquid it feels like gloopy stuff and it just feels very hydrating sometimes I just love to take this put it in my hand and just like tap into my skin because it just feels so luxurious and really nice on the skin so I definitely recommend this um, if you want like a good hydrating toner it's really really good and it smells amazing as well it just smells so nice and I get so excited to do my skincare like I just get everything ready put my skincare on and it's just like one of my favorite parts of the day so this is like one of my favorite parts to do because I don't put it every day but when I get to put it I just feel like I'm in heaven because it just feels so good on the skin there's an ingredient here called sodium Hyaluronate, and this is like an amazing ingredient to help um, keep the moisture in your skin. And the way you can test it is when you put a bit of this on your hand um, and you spray water on it, the water like bubbles up on top of it, like it doesn't like drip off your hand. Whilst if you just spray water on your hand like that, it will like leak off. But when you have this on your hand and then spray water on it, the water stays binded to your hand, and it's so cool. And um, so it just like it's just instantly proves that it actually does keep a moisture in your skin um but yeah this is more on the pricier side i do have to say i believe it's around 42 pounds it's another big investment if you want something good for your skin but i feel like it's really helped my skin and my skin has never looked better i feel like i feel more comfortable with my bare skin nowadays because i just feel like it looks more i don't know even and smooth as well the next product is eye cream and I have been super super serious and 
on it with my eye cream. I never used to wear eye cream and I have really hollow under eyes. Like it's nothing I can do about, like my skin naturally just goes inwards. I don't necessarily have much pigmentation under my eyes, but um, I've been using this Bobbi Brown hydrating eye cream and it's just been really helping. I feel like my under eyes look more plump. That's what I feel like. It doesn't look, you know, flawless, but you can definitely see that it goes inwards, but I feel like it's less than before. I just feel like. And it just looks more plump, and I also feel like it looks a bit brighter. It used to be really dull under my eyes, but now it just looks much, much better. And I definitely think that this has been helping because I, would, I don't really use anything else under my eyes and I'm literally almost done with it. I don't know how I manage that but I'm going to have to buy another one. Another good tip is to put it in your fridge and it just will instantly waken you up like it's so nice so definitely recommend this. It just smells really really natural and again it's got enriched mineral water and algae extract it's just it just feels very hydrating it's just for one of those days where I just don't want to be greasy you just want moisturization like not too much but just a little bit because my skin does sometimes drink this up so if you've got really dry dry skin I would recommend this but this is more for those days where I just want a little bit of moisture not excessively too much and I just put this on every day and I've been using it quite a lot. It's just literally a good moisturizer. It's more on the high end side of it, but I think it's worth the money and it's just really good. It just feels luxurious on the skin. So if you're looking into investing into your skincare, I would definitely recommend all these products because they've just been working amazing for me. So the next moisturizer that I've been using is the Bobbi Brown extra repair moisturizing balm in SPF with the SPF 25. I have used this, in, used this in a couple of my tutorials but this has been really working to just really really hydrate my skin and the other thing I like about this is the SPF. I'm, beca I'm becoming more conscious about the sun and how like it can really damage your skin and not even if even when it's cloudy there's still like weird rays out there like I'm not a scientist even though I should know biology really well um, but there are like rays out there and stuff that you don't want your skin to be absorbing and the SPF is really important to help your skin and help to protect your skin basically and that's another thing I like about this you get 15 ml in there so it's a big nice tub and I've been using this for a good while now and I've literally just touched the first layer and there's still a lot in there this is a 64 or 65 pound product it's a really expensive one, you know you're getting good quality. It's kind of like at that prices of like the Estee Lauder and Lancome creams. That it's like an investment. If you want a good luxurious cream, this is the one to go for. But this is more for like dry to very dry skin. It's very like heavy, it's like thick and the reason why I really like this, it's not giving me any milia. This will really help to even out your skin tone, just to help overall hydrate your skin and in the long term as well. And I realized when I put this, my skin instantly looks glowy, like it instantly looks healthy. And yeah, I think I, that's all I have to say about this. I thought I would add this skincare product in here because it is a big part of my skincare regimen and I do use bio oil and I just like to just put this before my cream or after it or sometimes just on its own. It's really been helping around my mouth area just to like lightening it up. I used to have so much more here. I do still have the pigmentation but much less I believe so there's still like a bit more like just around my mouth area but before it used to be like everywhere here and it's just really helped with that and it just really hydrate my skin as well like last night I just put this on my skin just to give me more hydration and it just feels really nice on the skin it's more on the affordable side and definitely worth the money I haven't been using it on stretch marks because I'm just super lazy and I don't see it working on my stretch marks because they're so deep 
I probably would have to get laser one day if I can, if not just deal with the stretch marks. But um, yeah, I've really been loving this for my skin. So those are all the products that I kind of wear on my skin. Another thing I've been using is the dermal roller. Every now and then I like to just put a few swipes here. I've been using it much less, maybe like once a week, just to like kind of, you know, do it around here for the pigmentation. I really want to see if it works for that. Otherwise, I really like it for blemishes. I do have a video with the dermal roller, so if you guys want to check that video out, I'll leave a link in the info box. I have also been using a DIY face mask, but I actually have to film that for you guys. I know I've said it since like ages ago and I still didn't film it. So hopefully I'll have that up for you guys. It's another like mask that I like to just make at home and just slap it on when I feel like, because I just feel like it just feels nice and natural and it really just makes my skin look nice and soft and hydrated if you guys do have any questions do not hesitate to ask me them in the comments below i try to answer all of your comments and if you guys want to see another video in particular just let me know and i think that's it i'm just rambling on really anyways thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up if you did find this one helpful subscribe if you're new to my channel and i love you guys i will see you all in my next video bye guys